Yo guys, in this video we are starting at Mogwin Palace. Now if you haven't yet got here from the VAR bloody finger quest, I advise you to watch my previous video. One thing I didn't notice here is look at my character's eyes. Now after you complete this quest, you do get some crazy bloodshot looking eyes and uh, whether that's a sign of good things to come, I don't think so. So we are going to use the Pure Blood Knights medal to go to Mogwin Palace and uh, the first grace point and map location is extremely easy, it's just right ahead in front of you. You'll see me zoom forward and get the map here, go left and we'll grab the first grace point which will be the Dynasty Mausoleum. Do bear in mind guys, this is not a full rundown of Mogwin Palace or how to get there. This video is just showing you all of the grace points that you're going to want to get as soon as you get here, which kind of opens up the area to easy exploration. From this grace point we're going to make our way up plenty of stairs, we're going to dodge these bloody skeletons as we go past of them. Some of them may try grab you, some of them may explode near you, but if they do it's just free roans as they are committing suicide. So we are going to travel all the way up here until we come up against the bloody blob and I'm going to show you how to get past this guy. So you're just going to want to poke him, you can run through the sides there and to the right but if you just poke him once or twice it's going to open up a gap for you to shimmy through and on to the next grace point. We're going to make our way into this dark and dingy crypt, and do bear in mind there's some dodgy guys in here. Uh, there will be a lot of gold runes, you're going to find golden rune 10 to 13, you're going to find a lord's rune, hero runes. Basically, once you've found these grace points, you're going to be able to go to a merchant and get yourself 100,000 plus runes, I guarantee you. Now these guys here did not want to see me get out of this crypt alive, so just sprint past them. We're going to make our way out to the next grace point, and uh, thankfully they'll leave me be once we grab that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Turn around and get back in your crypt. As we come up these stairs, completely ignore those neeks on the left, they're not worth your time at this moment. We're going to go up the lift and to the first boss fight. Now, you'll see I do not go in this archway because I don't want to initiate anything just yet. As I say, with these areas, I think it's best just to grab your grace points and get your bearings before you go into anything serious. So here I've just gone back down that lift, we're going to creep past those worshippers on the left and get ourselves a golden rune 13 golden seed and also a stone sword key which you may have missed on the way up here. Now we've got these grace point and precious items, we're going to make our way back to the first grace we discovered and head back down to the right. Now in this area you are going to be able to use torrents, so I recommend to get them out because there's some seriously strong foe you're going to want to avoid and get away from as fast as possible. Now on here we're just going to wrap around, we're going to hug the cliffs on the right until we get to a small little archway. Go through that archway and then take a left. Now through here up these bloody rivers and on this cliff front we're going to find ourselves the best room farming spot in the game so I've heard. So you're going to want to grab this grace point, maybe should have been the one I included first but this is probably going to be why you've come to Mogwin Palace. <laughs> 